the glory days. Gary Lappin got the touch, and all of Pro Park has come alive. Look at this, Wexford people. Look at this. The big man from Glen Barntown. No wonder you take off your hat, sir. Today could be your day. Just watch this. They'll be watching it in Wexford for years, perhaps. Absolutely. Brilliant goal by Gary. I think it was Gary got it. We continue on down at the other end. Joe Errity giving it to Michael Dyke. Oh, no! yes! Great goal! And hopefully now are the people jumping for joy. From one end we have a goal, to the other end we have a goal, and Michael Dagnan is the man who brings Offaly back into the match. What about that draw, Nicky? Well, I think it could very well be. A brilliant response from Offaly, typical Offaly. You cannot write them off until you're in the dressing room. Wonderful Offaly. This is the first goal as that ball came in. There was a bit of a scramble. Gary Laffin first hit the ball off the crossbar, and then it was scrambled through. In fact, it was Tom Dempsey. It was Tom Dempsey, actually. It was Tom Dempsey, actually, that scrambled it in. At the other end, Offaly came forward and responded like champions. What a Joe response. Joe Ergy to Michael Dagnan. And Michael Dagnan rattled it into the net. Here we go again. Dahi Regan. Sending it up towards Joe Errity. Wexford man goes back to Catherine's Hurley as Johnny Pilkington drives it in and puts it over the bar. His third point from midfield. And the people are the ones rejoicing once again. 2.16 for Wexford, 2.14 for Offaly and 21, almost 22 minutes gone in the second half. Damien Fitzhenry gives it plenty of air. Larry O'Gorman, he really has played wonderfully well at midfield. To another Larry, who's played brilliant at big forward. Three points for Larry Murphy. <laughs> Wexford people now jumping for joy. It's that sort of a game. 2.17 to 2.14. Three points between the teams. And thankfully, just 22 and a half minutes gone in the second half. Michael Dyken trying to push it forward. Liam Dunn. That's going to find touch. Yes, it is. Sideline ball for Offaly. Well, no wonder Larry would touch his toes and take a breather because he's played his heart out. Eamon Cregan will want his side to keep taking their points. Brian Wheelahan. Knocked away by from Kevin Martin. And Rory McCarthy, that's a free properly. They're certainly here in Croke Park for this Leinster final from near and far. From Japan, from Tullamore, from Offaly. As Johnny Dooley sends that wide. That could be a crucial miss, Snicky. Absolutely. At this stage of the game, you've got to take all your chances. And most unlike Johnny Dooley, who's normally so, un so accurate from all these threes. Again, another massive puck out by Damien Fitzhenry. Knocked away by Hubert Rigney. Adrian Fenlon. Sending it up towards Martin Hennemey. Gary Laffer giving it back outside to Rory McCarthy. Sends a testing ball in for Tom Dempsey, but Tom can't reach it. And down they sit once again. Knocked away. Line ball for Offaly.
Martin Hanami from St. Rhinus cutting it in towards Rod Guiney, picked up by Larry O'Gorman. Back to Rod, nice hurling. Martin Storey willing to take on Hubert Rigney. Story trying to keep him in, or rather trying to stay in. Tony Pilkington back towards Kevin Keenahan, who finally gets the clearance into the far side. Oh, well done, Johnny Dooley. Getting it in towards Jerk Cush and John Try and Cush beats Troy. Excellent play by the fullback. Eamon Scanlon and Martin Hanneby. Wonderful fielding. Hops all the way in, dangerously into Billy Dooley. Gives it to Joe Everty. Is this the equaliser? He leaves it behind himself. And it's Liam Dunn that comes away with it. Happy to get it down for his Rod Guiney, who's fouled. Free for Exford. It's a man's game, and it's manly stuff. OK, Joe Everty is picking up the ball here. And Billy Dooley passed it too. Joe is going through, and... Brilliant interception there by John O'Connor. He just got the tip to it. I think Offaly thought that Joe Ergie had been fouled, but in actual fact, the credit goes to John O'Connor, who just flicked it away at the last moment. The people of Wexford have nine minutes to the final whistle. They're leading by three points. It runs kindly to Larry Murphy. Goalkeeper has to come out bravely. Go down, and he's still loose. It's anybody's, and it's Liam Coughlin's eventually. Oh, a heart-stopping moment in Croke Park for Offaly and for Wexford. Adrian Finlan drives it wide. That was close. Not just Adrian Finlan's effort at a point, but the goal-scoring opportunity. Another great chance here for Wexford, but I think there were so many bodies around the goal, it was just impossible. Good stop by Liam Coughlin. Sean Flutt. Ball comes down towards Hubert Rigney and Martin Storey. Eamon Scallon. Hubert Rigney. Johnny Pilkington. Well blocked by Adrian Fenland. Sending it in towards Gary Lappin. Gone inside is Eamon Scallon. Gary, back to Adrian Fenland. Oh, that is a sweet point. But the referee had blown his whistle for too many turns, and that is a free for Wexford. In fact, he dropped the early, so that is a free for Offaly. Yes. Paddy Mulher. Paddy Mulher appears to be on for Dahi Regan. So Dahi is the man that's gone off, and Paddy Mulher from St. Rhinus is on for Offaly. Rob Guiney. Down towards Johnny Pilkington. Rob Guiney comes forward like a train. Nothing to stop him. Over towards Martin Storey. Behind you, Martin. Martin Hanamey. Lovely stuff. Down towards Michael Dignan. Outside him is Paddy Mulher. This is Mulher, the substitute for Regan, coming through. Trying to get room to swing. Sending in a ball job. Try and Damien Fitzhenry is there. You're going the wrong way, Damien. Into an awfully triumvirate. But he gets it out. Back to Mulher once more. Scooping it in around the goal mouth and Damien Fitzhenry. This time he comes the right way. And gets a good, long, relieving clearance. Martin Hanami and Eamon Scallon. Hanami waiting to pull once more when that slither comes free. Still Pilkington, still Finland, still Hanami. To Rod Guiney, into the corner, and it's gone out for a sideline ball. With the sideline cut, 
to Michael Dykeman. Hold on. 